Joining us at TLC Garden Center to talk about some standout perennials is Cindy Townsend. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. I'm so happy you're here. Thanks. You, you always have some great plants and wonderful knowledge to share. So what do you have for us this year? Well, I thought we could start out with a few shade plants and shade arrangements. Um, Kathy Webb from production helped put these together. She's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, so these are uh, shade plants. And, and what I want to start with is is this little Carex, and this is snow cap. Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely cute. Really compact, how big does that get? Only about six inches. Oh, wow. So to me, you know, we've got it in this little arrangement here, but you could also put it in just one pot on the patio and enjoy it um, like you do some of your tropical plants. Mm -hmm. And yet you don't have to worry about, should it be inside or should it be outside like we've been stressing about lately. Yeah. That's true. That's the nice thing about putting perennials in containers. Is and being able to leave them. <laughs> when yeah. they're out, they're out. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have some really nice color combinations in here with the Hookera and perennial plant of the year last yes. year, right? Well, and this, one, this is a new series, a mm -hmm. carnival series, and this one's Plum Crazy out mm -hmm. of that carnival series. And look, it's already shooting up little flower heads. Mm -hmm. uh, Cora Bells is a common name for the hookahs, and people usually think of that with the little flower heads that they have. Yeah. Um, they say that they're good for hummingbirds. I think it's a little low, but, mm -hmm. but I know in some climates they are. And you notice how we've got this big, beautiful, bold foliage, you know, kind of the purpley hues. Mm -hmm. Well, then we've got it mixed with, you know, of course, the snow cap with the white bold and then the polygonatums, mm -hmm. which help make this really balanced and sweet. And the polygonatums we were just talking about is one of your favorites. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, this is a shade garden plant or morning sun or cool sun plant. And uh, a lot of people think about the hostas and different things like this. Well, this gives you the chance to give a little bit more architecture to yeah, it. Yeah, they have this wonderful arch yes. to them. And the little bell flowers, I don't know if you can pick those up, but I think those are just sweet. They come on right away, too. Yeah. You have a couple more uh, hookahs here as well, also in the Carnival series, right? Right. Mm -hmm. and, and this one is watermelon. It's got a little bit of hint of red to it. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Um, and then it's already trying to shoot its flower spikes up, too, mm -hmm. which I think is really, really nice. And we were talking, hookah is another one that I can leave in containers and leave on my patio, and they do come back in, in, the, in the spring. So I don't worry about them. They'll go dormant for me, but, but they do just start showing those new leaves, and it's yeah. really fun to see that they're popping out. Um, before we move to the other one next to it, you have a little bit of an older variety, but I really like this combination of foliage where that red is coming out in our geranium. And yeah, which... this, one's, this one's Catherine Adele, and that's, you're exactly right. That's why I brought it into the picture. What I like about these hardy geraniums is they meander, and they give you a nice, soft, casual look. So they're really perfect for containers also if you need something to spill out to the side. Okay. And the last hookra is Blondie. Well, you know, the, the breeders for all the different perennials are trying to breed for smaller, more compact gardens because they have less space. Well, this one is a little cutie series. And so there's about three of these little cutie series out there. They're just more compact. Mm -hmm. and, and what I find interesting also is they're breeding for intensity of color. I don't know if you picked that up on the watermelon and the and, uh, plum crazy, but the intensity of color is better. Mm -hmm. So they're also breeding for that on some of these perennials. Excellent. And this is one that would also pair well, give a little contrast with some green foliage. I, I, I love this. Um, you know, there's so many hostas out there, so many hosta breeders, it's difficult to kind of narrow in on some that you, you might like. This one, not only does it have an amazing name, it's an amazing little hosta, and it's called Curly Fries. <laughs> <laughs> and I love my curly french fries, I'm telling and you. I think a lot of people would look at that and not even realize it's a hosta. I know, that's <laughs> really that's what Laura was saying. Um, it is a hosta, and um, it's actually only six or eight inches. So again, once again, we've hit that patio pot type situation. You have another mixed container, and here you're throwing annuals in as well. Yes, we are. We've got some impatience in, in here and the Persian Shield, um, just to add a little bit of more color, you know, because the perennials aren't always doing performing mm -hmm. the best. Their foliage goes up and down, their flowers go up and down. So I believe it's really important to balance things out with a few annuals to keep intensity happening and keeping the creativity. Like this azalea, for example, is a Corbella azalea, it's an old fashioned one. So it's gonna go green, it's not a rebloomer, but look at how dynamic it looks now. So mm -hmm. if you've got a spring get together coming on, great time for your azalea. You do have a new Brenra in that mix. This one, again, a name that I just love, is called Sea Heart, mm -hmm. um, which I think is just a brilliant name for this. Um, you've got the little forget-me-not type flowers, which mm -hmm. are just amazing on this plant. 
again for your shade garden so it's something you could add to your hostas or kind of mix things up a little bit or to your big reds. Um, I love the silver and everybody knows whites and silvers help um, mellow things out or, or divide things. So mm -hmm. like if you've got a lot of bold reds happening you want some silvers or whites to break it up a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely.